today, for today's prompt, I am going to try and draw this fellow in my thumbnail paint, playing a cello for instrument. So we're going to have a, just get the basic shapes in first and see how we go. Just to try. Get his, his shoulder comes, his face is long. Ish. He's got his jacket here. His arm comes out and down and then forwards because he's holding his <clears throat> um, bow. Then he's got I'm going to adjust things as I go, but I'm just going to get the basic shapes in now. Try anyway. Try, try, try. <clears throat> okay, so I'll get his, I'll do his hand up here now, but I won't do the finger details in yet. Like that. And I'm gonna try and I'm gonna do this in monotone as well. So I'm gonna do it how the photo is. I hope. <laughs> I'm going to try and do it how the photo is. Got to have more of a downward tilt on his arm. That's okay, I can do that. I can change things as I go. He needs to be relaxed through his shoulders. I've got him a bit taut through his shoulders. <clears throat> so I've just got to drop that down a fraction. <sighs> like that. I can change his arm. Where's my eraser? Where did I put my big round eraser? Where did it go? I thought I put it on my table. Oops. I put it in here. Oh, it's right. I'll open another one. Oh, no, there it is. I found it. Disappeared off behind the back. It did. I've just got to erase this bit. Get his shape in. So, his head's there. Base of his cello is about, the side of his cello is about there. And it comes out this side. That's sort of you can't really see it there because of the strings. So, hello, grayscale. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so, mate. I'm going to give it a go, and I'm going to try and do it in monotone. Try, I like trying challenging things. So. Um, yeah, <laughs> I picked a challenging one. <laughs> but I love a challenge. It'll take a bit of toing and froing with his body, but we'll get there. Actually, his arms about there. Cello, because there's a, the cello's 3D, it comes sort of about there like that. Uh, disappears off down there. You can't see it. Basic sort of shape. His legs on the outside of it. You can just see the top of his knee. Like that. It comes around there. These are the most beautiful looking instruments. I have to say they are one of the most beautiful instruments. think in my mind they're gorgeous whoops I've got it that's way too long way too long that's a bit better and that's about the same length as that bit there oh if you know like that then his other knee is here. How am I going to do that? Let's rough it in. That. <clears throat> He's sitting on a stool. I can pop the stool in. His knees on. 
So he's actually got a change a fraction. His jacket comes just below there. Like that. I'm going to erase this bit. Oops, and tidy that bit up. Oops. It doesn't want to erase. Like that. And then come around here. That disappears off behind his leg. That comes down. I've got to tidy up this line down here is ugly. Fix that line up. Like that. Get rid of that line because I don't like that line. I'll tidy that up in a minute. He's got the point coming down on the bottom of his cello about there. It goes down near his foot. can only just see the back part there, like that. Oh, okay. Like that, and his knee, that's got to come back there a bit more. His leg does look quite narrow at the top. He's got his beret coming down like that. Now, his hand, so his arm is the same length as his torso. Righto, so we've got that about the same length. I'll just box in the fingers. Like that. Try and draw those creases in. I'm just going to, this is going to be a fun sort of tonal value because I'm going to do this in the, the grey and white that he is. I'm going to try anyway, just using one colour. Painted earlier today, gave it away online. It's been a while since I did that. Painted a beach scene. Oh, nice. Actually, did I stick... Did I, what, I think I saw a picture of it. <laughs> I think I saw it when I woke up. Did I, did you have it on Instagram? How did it go? I have no idea how I'm going to do this dude's face. I just need to forget. Not worry, just do shadows, not do, not do the lines, just do the shadows. It'll be fine. We'll just do shadows. <clears throat> you can't really see. His face is downwards. It's on Instagram. Don't know the full image. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I knew. I, I, when you said that, I'm like, I saw that. Where did I see that? I must have seen it on Insta when I got up. They looked beautiful. They did look beautiful. What I saw looked gorgeous. And he's got his hand right at the end of the the bow. These are the most magnificent instrument and the bow comes to the edge here. Like that. And like that. Because that's the strings. Oops, no. I need to get it a bit straighter than that if I can. Try and hold a straight line. There we go. And it doesn't, or well, it does go past the edge of the, the cello. Just like that. And then these are just beautiful. So the, the strings on the bow come down here. 
And the bows are quite beautiful. I used to play violin many, 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 many thousands of years ago. <laughs> Way back when I was a kid. Um, and the, the bows were my favourite thing. They were just so pretty. They're so elegant and gorgeous. So the strings go up on an angle. And she's a four string, the a bass. This one, and I've got to come down a fraction. And then there's that thing. That I forgot what that's called, but yeah. That thing. Do four strings. Come up, and then they sort of come down and meet at the tune a bit. At the, sorry, at the bottom there. The tension of doodah thingy, what's it? And then it's got a pretty pat pattern bit coming down there. All right. So that finger up there, that finger's curled around, curled around. And then his pinky's down there. I'm going to tidy his hand up a little bit. His hand's looking a little bit messy. I've got fingers going in every direction. <laughs> He's got spaghetti fingers. We don't want spaghetti fingers. We want normal fingers. So that one. Then that one. Then that one. Because he's sort of got them bent on odd angles because he's reaching for cords like that. Can't see his, hair, his, his other finger. Are you kidding me? With, we both chose string instruments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just love cello. Love cello. Whoops, the days. I made a bit of a mess there. It's one of my favourite, 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 favourite instruments. Right up. It was nearly a piano. I was going to do a piano and then I'm like, no, I love the cello and I needed to practice human figure. So I picked this dude because I love a challenge. <laughs> All right. I've got to, I'm not going to worry so much just yet about his face because I'm just going to shade that in. For a buddy that's doing a painting auction, I'll check out the finished work. Cool. Cool, cool. Sent me a copy. Awesome. I shall check it out after. So what's been happening? How is everyone? <clears throat> All right. That foot's resting up a little bit. Like that. Chair leg comes down there. That chair leg goes up the back. It's like a stooly kind of a thing. And then it disappears off behind his back like that. All right. There's another leg coming back like that. <coughs> Oops, today's a sip of me coffee. And I'm going to do this in monotone. I'm going to do this all in um, grayscale, pretty much. I'm going to try anyway. Do it as the photo reference has it. What have I done here? That does disappear off. You can't see it like that. And then that. Can't really see any other detail there. Right, I reckon that's pretty much his sketch. That's pretty much his sketch. Am I going to do the door behind him? Probably not because that'll take away from him. I'm just going to have a plain old background. You can't see the back of that leg, so I'm not going to do it. Where does it go? I think it must go because I can see this one. Not oh, pardon me. I can see that one. That comes down there. Then there's a bar across. The seat goes like that. I'll just leave it. 
and we'll I won't worry well, if I can't see it it's not there it doesn't need to be there I reckon yeah, I love monotone too. I haven't done it in an awfully long while, so we'll see how we go. <laughs> I'm just going to grab my cloth. Oh, there it is right here. Nice. Okay, so I got, actually I had yesterday in the mail my um, core watercolours arrived, and I'm like, oh, I could use those. And then I'm like, no, nah, I don't know. I don't know how to use them. I haven't tried them yet. So um, I thought, a best, something like this. I will leave for uh, my the ones I know how they act. <laughs> so first of all, I'm going to wet his beret. I'm going to take this very carefully, very carefully, quite safely. So I'm going to do his beret. So I'm just wetting the paper. There's a little bit of pigment on the brush, not the end of the world. And it's quite a detailed drawing. So I'm just going to I'm going to use I'm just going to use my paints grey. Gonna use Payne's Grey. Oops, get a bit more pigment on my brush. Because it's got a lovely tone to it. It'll be coming darker down the front. Oops, I'll just drag that out. Like that. Right. Then a little bit more at the front because he's darker at the front. Like that. Drag it up a fraction. Sort of to help give that shape. Like that. <clears throat> okay. Now onto his face. So I'm going to wet his face. And it's much paler than the rest. I'm going to leave a little tiny gap between his hat or his beret and the hello candid how are you doll between his hat and the um face and I'm just gonna Darken up the areas. I didn't draw his face in deliberately. I thought I'm going to try. Whoops, a days. Get. His, um, just the shadows of his face. And let that do the. Expression. Doing well, how are you? Oh, I'm great, thank you, Dar. I'm great. I was excited to start this piece. I have no idea how it's going to go, but we'll have a go. <laughs> I was excited to... Have a try at this. I'm just going to suggest his face. It's not going to be... Um, try and get, that's his moustache. Uh, around there into the shadow area. I'm going to blend that out a little bit. just want to soften this up. Doesn't want to soften, that's fine. I'm not going to fuss with it. It's going to leave the suggestion of his face like that. I can add in a little, a few little darker lines in a bit. So he's very dark under his neck. He's got like a scarf or something. So I'm going to grab slightly more pigment directly under his neck. And darken that right down into there. And I can play with the values as I get into the picture. So I'm going to work on this section by section. I'm just going to wet that bit there. And that's lighter again. So I'll just drop a little touch at the top. And take that around. 
little touch. So I'm just literally using one colour for this whole painting, which is Payne's Grey. It's a lovely sort of a colour. Um, come down onto his arm and I'm going to wet the arm. And I'm only going to do, because his jacket's quite pale, so I'm just going to do creases and let the water carry the pigment like that. Okay, and I can define those creases a bit more as I go. So come down here, wet this part of his arm. He's got a jacket on. And the under, underside of his arm is much darker, but I'm working on the lighter part first. So you work from light to dark with watercolour. Like that. Come up and around. Whoops. Put a bit more on my brush. And then come around the cuff on his arm. And now while that's still a little bit damp, I'm going to add some darker in underneath in his shadow areas, underneath his arm. So I'm going to come in while it's still a little bit damp. And anywhere I see that it's dark, I'm going to go in to the crease areas and darken that up about two shades, like two tones darker maybe, just to help give that some definition. And then I've got to darken up under the collar his jacket's sort of turned down here, so I'll darken up under there, like that, and he's starting to come together. So he doesn't really need all that detail of face. You can get away with um, a little bit. Don't have to. It's easy to get stuck in detail, and I do. I have a tendency of trying to do fiddle and do too much, and I've got to not do too much. I need to get happy with it, leave it, <laughs> like that. Righto, so next I'm going to start working on his right side. I'll leave the cello till last. And I'm going to just work on, I can see his shoulder around the back there. I haven't really drawn it in, but I'm going to add, it's quite dark, it's in shadow. So I'll let that run around there like that. And I'll come into here. Take that down. So I've, I've just popped water. I'm just going to let the water flow because that's a darker area right there. So I'll let that flow down and around. Then come down onto his back. Like that. Wet the paper a bit. Okay. I'm going to pop. This is all darker shadows down here. So I hope everyone's having a good day. We've got a quite a stormy day again here. So he's darker up there. There's a shadow up there. And he's got his creases on his sleeve there. Righto, I've got his arm way too deep, so I'm going to erase this bit of his arm. It's way too low. His arm doesn't. His arm sort of comes to about here, so I'll change the shape of him a little bit. His arm's at the top of the cello, so I can paint that shape in and go up a bit there like that. His jacket, like that. So I just altered that shape as I went, as I saw that that was not right. So I've wet the paper and now I'm going to drop in the creases underneath. This, this sleeve is much lighter, but I'll let the paint, I'll draw the creases and let the paint take, like take up in the water and it'll move around and fill in the bits very, very softly that I've missed. There we go. I'll do a dark line around his cuff. I'll come back to that in a second. Right. Onto his jeans. 
So I'm going to wet the whole of the front of his jeans on this side. And the thing is to try and keep it simple. Trying to keep it as simple as I possibly can. That's what I like about monotone. It teaches you, like it, it helps you focus on your values. You can see your lights and darks. It takes the stress out of colour, like having to add colour. It's a really relaxing thing to do. It's a really stress-free, fun way to practice your tonal values. By taking all the stress of colours <laughs> and just using one colour. And it could be any colour. Blue, pink, grey, green, whatever. Your understanding of shadows and highlights is amazing. Oh, thank you. Lots and lots and lots of years of practice and observing. And um, and I love shadows. Like shadows are my favourite thing. <laughs> like I'm passionate about shadows. I'm absolutely passionate about them. So, it's yeah, it's one of my favourite things to do. And it's so much fun when it when it works. <laughs> and there's a crease in his jeans here. Take that down and around, and then it's darker around the cuff. But yeah, doing it in one one color takes all the stress out of it. Um, because I'm not great with color. I struggle with color. And, you know, I, I can't see blues and reds very well. Like I really I have trouble defining blue and purple and dark reds and purple. You know, I find it really difficult. It's one of my um, problems <laughs> with, uh, with, with, my, with my art journey. But, you know, I've got to try and got to learn. But... Um, it's, yeah, I love monotone for that reason. It just takes all that stress out of it. So I'm going to change. Whoops, a day's not put my hand in the wet leg. Come down here, change the shape of that a little bit. So I'm just wetting his jeans. I'm working on hot press paper too. So it's very smooth. So the water colour travels differently because it's smooth. Is darker down under the cello. I'm going to leave the white of the paper as that little stemmy bit on the bottom that's supporting it. And come down the front. And really darken that bit up. It's not, maybe not that much, but anyway matter I can pick that up with the brush a little bit I'll just dab my brush in and take up some of that extra pigment that's quite strong and quite dark and that is not meant to be the darkest part of the picture so I've got to try and dob that up a little bit so I literally just touch my wet brush in there take the excess moisture off and lift that off there we go still too dark that's a bit better just keep working over it until I lighten it off. I just want to get rid of that. I don't want it that dark. Can I touch it with my cloth? Hang on, I'll grab a bit of cloth. See if I can lift it with a bit of cloth. Just made it a little bit too strong. Nope, doesn't matter. We're just going to leave it. I'll just wet over it a little bit. A little bit of a scrub. That's a bit better. Okay, I'll leave it dry for a minute and I'll go back onto this other leg because this is the darker one. Just about here is darker. Coming down the back there onto his jean. Around there. And his boots have got lovely shiny bits on them. Hang on, I'm just going to grab my cloth. Um, I did a Posca pen painting with only browns and gold and it was so hard and I really struggle with shadows and highlights. And it's just one of those things, mate. It is just practice, 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 practice. So I saw your your um, if your little animals this morning, Candid, are so gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. They were so beautiful. But it's just, yeah, and it's like me with colour. I've just got to do it and do it and do it and do it. <laughs> 
and keep doing it until I get it. But how much fun are Posca pins? They are awesome fun, aren't they? I do love Posca pins. They are good fun. I'm going to leave the highlights on his boots. And the tip of his toe's dark there. Come around there. Righto. Right, so I'm going to go back on to his top now. I'm going to work. I've got to try. I've got to do the cello. So the top of the cello. Whoops. Too much pigment. So I'm going to come right in close to his face because the top of his face is dry now. And he's got this beautiful scroll. These are just the most beautiful instruments. I do love musical instruments. My family are musical. And I absolutely adore musical instruments as, as pieces of art themselves. Like, oh, sculpturally, they're just gorgeous. Consider getting more. Cool. Well, that's it. There's so many colours you can get in Poscas. There's just a world out there. All right, so that comes around there like that. Right at the end, I'll go back in and, and add the design that goes around there. <clears throat> got to get some more paint on my palette. Oops, not that much. I've got to be very careful here that I don't overdo it. So I'm going to come down here. And it's just started to bucket down rain. Do that very pale on that part of the cello. This part... Is very pale where the strings are, but not quite as. I'm going to do a lovely shadow coming in behind there, right here. Take that up the back, the stem part, like that. The dark. Up a really dark line here. Then go right up the back. You can just see that beautiful scroll work there. So just suggest that in. <clears throat> then I'm going to go over the face of the cello that's because that's also quite pale. You can go let, whoop, leave the strings the wider the paper. Try and leave the strings. I haven't used any um, masking fluid. I've gone rogue. So I'm trying to trying to reserve my lights. So this side's darker, so I'm going to let that flow onto the cello like that. Then come around this side like that. and he's dark in there where that turn is on the cello I'll let that sit for a minute up here I'm around this side and darken this bit up that's darker than his jacket leaving a little gap at the edge just so there's a tiniest little bit of highlight. I mean, I can add a little bit of gouache at the end, but I'm going to really try really hard not to. I want to try and keep it as, like, with nothing else, just the grey and white. I really don't want to have to add anything to try and tidy anything up. I'm going to just let it be. Because the whole idea of this one was to... Have a go at seeing if I could do it. Come around. Like that trying to get the shape of the shallows the hardest part. <sighs> OK, 
Okay, so go to the bottom, wet this. Doesn't matter that I've got a bit of pigment on because this is going to be darker than everywhere else. I'm going to really wet that. And then I'm going to come back in with the really dark pigment at the very bottom. It doesn't matter if it flows up onto the cello itself a little bit. Magical stuff, watercolour. It really is beautiful. It is magical. I'm going to really darken this up. This is really dark down here. Like that. And then around this side. It's the line. Like that. And into his pattern on here. So that's all... Um, that's the sounding, the little echo chamber bit that it, it can, the sound comes out just there. You can't see the one on the other side. Then that comes back of this board here. It's dark. Leave a little gap so you can sort of see the strings. Then I'm going to wet this bit. Oops, that's a bit dark. Doesn't matter. No, it's not. It's meant to be that dark. That's good. Awesome. I love it when that happens. Like that. Trying to get the look. We're getting there. We're getting there, peeps. I've got to really start to darken up the darks now. Got to come around there. Darken up the back of that leg comes down onto that jeans at the back like that try and soften that edge that a bit and I'll drop a bit more pigment in there just there and let it do its thing try and keep it softer then come down this side I've got to redo this bit wet that drop in the pigment Onto that knee, drop a little bit of pigment. Doesn't want to float. Doesn't matter. All right, go onto the boot. So I'm going to go down onto his boot, the tip of his toe. Like that, it's darkest. And he's got a dark bit there. Some more pigment. So I'm just using Payne's Grey. This is literally just Payne's Grey. Um, nothing else. And his shoe is very dark at the back. Leave the pin that's supporting the... cello and then go onto this shoe his shoes sort of turned, bent up his foot's bent up so it's darkest underneath and coming in here and around there like that oh that's made a mess of that hasn't it but that's okay I can fiddle with that tidy up that line at the end okay so now I'm gonna do a little bit more I've got to do the chair the chair's a lot of light um there's the seat the edge of the seat there but underneath the leg there the inside that Coming down there, back of the chair, comes down like that, and that side of the leg, it's 
directly under him all be a bit dark. Keep it as simple as I possibly can. All right, so now I'm going to go in. I'm going to grab my finer brush. Got a slightly smaller brush. <clears throat> Get some almost pure Payne's Grey. Go into the darkest darks around the cello. That's the focus of this piece is the cello. Like that. And that'll this will give it its three-dimensional look by bringing out the shape at the sides and that and then it goes like that it goes like that and then that comes down there right around that edge all right now I'll come down this side very lightly I don't want to do too much hard edges I don't want to mess it up by completely outlining I want to leave it a little bit like it's um suggesting you know there's a little bit of suggestion of I just like the effect. I can't even put it into words. I just want to get the effect of the impression. I don't want it to be exact. It's an impression of a photograph of a person doing, playing with his cello. Oops. I'll tidy that up in a second. I've got to go up here with a little bit. I'm going to wet into here and get some little highlights and stuff and dark lights popping in there. I'll just let that flow around there come around this side just wet that a little bit darker on that side drop in the pigment let it flow like that just want to soften this edge sort of drag it down a little bit like that going to wet down here a little bit more and darken this just drop a little bit of so I wet the paper, just drop the pigment in, let it flow. Let it find its own way in its own form. Drop a little bit more down there. So it'll it'll travel around that edge, which is what I want. I'm gonna wet up here a little bit more. Drop a little bit more pigment on that side. Like that. That'll help to define that edge a bit. That shadow comes into there. Like that. <sighs> okay, I'm going to come down here, sort of the whole length of it really, and drop dark in there. Let that help to shadow underneath. Oops. There. Now let's have a look. It's looking okay. It's looking okay. I've got to darken up under his chin now. So I'm going to work my way back up. But actually, I've got, yep. Yeah, I'm going to darken up under his chin. There's contrast there, really dark contrast. So I'm going to go in with a lot of pigment. And I'm just going to drop that in where I've wet the paper and let it do its thing. Like that. I can drag it down a little bit just to help it travel. Like that. I haven't done any skin tone on his hands. I'm just going to clean my brush, wet his hands, and I'm only going to add a little tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny little bit of shadow underneath his fingers. You can barely even see it. Well, you can't actually see it. I just want to get a bit of shadow in there, a bit of shadow there, a bit of shadow there like that. 
I'll add a darker shadow underneath his hand. It'll help that contrast a little bit. I'm going to darken up under his hand because that's in shadow there. Like that. Just give his wrist a little bit more shape. There we go. Drag that down and around, soften that edge. Now it's very dark. Oh, I'll do too much water on my brush. Very dark up in there. So I'll darken that bit up. And that'll help the contrast around his hands as well. Like that. Then come down onto this hand and I'll, oh, too much water, too much pigment, I mean. I can just wet that though. And that'll disappear. I want a little bit of colour on his hands like that. And then just do between his fingers. And that's it. Just between his fingers, nothing else like that. Just to suggest them. Now, I can re wet down here. The trick of this is going to be to know when to stop. <laughs> the, the, the hard part of this will be know when to stop. Um, I, I, yeah, I might have trouble with the stop button. <laughs> I've got to darken up under here. I've got to darken up his hat. His hat is very dark. So I'm just going to wet his hat again. And I'm going to drop the pigment into the top and let it flow. Like that. A bit more, a bit stronger pigment maybe and let that flow. There we go. Let that do its thing. Righto, there's a door behind him. Do I try the door? <laughs> I'm a bit scared. Um, I'm quite liking it. All right. So that's just a suggestion of a seat. Like that's not even, that is not a whole lot of fuss. Not a whole lot of fuss. I'm sitting back and having a quick look. I've got to really darken up in this bit. So I'm going to wet there. Wet that little bit triangular spot there. And drop in some stronger pigment. Now it's just doing the darkest darks. I'm at that sort of stage of this. Just adding the darkest darks in. I'll give him a shadow. I should give him a shadow. He needs a shadow. He's got a shadow. So I'll pop his shadow down here. So he's grounded. He's not just floating in space. And I'll drop a bit of dark pigment under there. Take that around. Directly under his feet is the darkest. Like that. Drag that out a bit. Around the back of his foot. All right. Soften those edges. It didn't really flow out. There we go. Clean water. I'm just going to pop some clean water down the bottom and see if I can get it to flow down a little bit. There we go. Rightio. Let that dry down there. I'm going to leave his face alone. I'm quite happy with his face, just that simple. I don't want to put any hard lines on it whatsoever. I'm going to re-wet here. And pop in some creases again because you can see it's dried back quite pale. that down and around there like that and I can pop in some sort of harder lines for his wrinkles around the top for his creasy bits now he's really dark I can go I can go a couple of tones darker under here 
I just wet the paper and take the brush with quite strong pigment down his back like that. I'm going to darken up under this arm, so I'm going to re-wet all of that bit. Pop pigment back in and let it flow again. And come down that side. Darken up the contrast underneath there. have a look he's got a couple of creases down the front of his jacket that I want to try and get in there's one there and there's hello Shane how are you going doll how are you how are you I'm just painting the cellist to darken up that line there We're definitely getting there. I'm down there like that. Good. Found my fabulous friend. Thank you, thank you. That's glad to hear. I'm glad to hear it, doll. I'm going to go around the outside. I'm going to define his darkest parts on his shoes. And then come down there like that. And like that. So it just... Got to darken up the, this point of his shoes, and it's really dark in there. Like that, and I am very good, mate. I'm having a blast. Having a blast. Thoroughly enjoying trying to do a monotone painting. <laughs> And this is for the prompt instrument. So I thought I wanted to challenge myself and do another human study. And I thought I'd incorporate that with a person playing an instrument. I'm going to darken up the stat side of that stool, the leg. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm like, I'm just going to come down the side of the prong that supports the cello. Holy dooly. We're getting there, peeps. We're getting there. Getting another Doctor Who box set. Nice. Very good. I don't think I'm going to even bother with the background. I'm just going to leave. I'm not going to do a background. I think he says it. It says enough what he's got going on, I think. I'm just going to do the, the trim around. I can do some detail now, though, like the trim around his jeans. because He's got the collar, the cuff around his jeans. Like that. I can strengthen up these creases around the back of his jean, but I don't want to give it a solid line. Come around here a little bit. Strengthen that. And I reckon we're just about there, peeps. So this is how long has this taken? It's 55 minutes. So it's quite a fast sketch, actually. It's quite a fast way of doing things because you're not fussing with colour. Um, it takes out all of that. I'm just going to drag this down. Third Doctor, cool. I've got to darken up right under here. The Third Doctor. Which one was the Third Doctor? Come around here. I can't even remember. I loved the, the, the curly-headed one with the scarf. <laughs> he was my favourite. This looks amazing, doll. Thank you, Aurora. Thank you, doll. Good fun. I love monotone. And I'm really enjoying humans, like doing people's studies. Really enjoying doing human studies. Got to do lots, lots more of it. Got to just darken up directly under his arm.
not solid lines. I don't want to do solid lines. I just want it to be a suggestion. Don't want anything that's just a heart, you know, like an outline. I don't want an outline. I want softness. Softness is what I'm aiming for. Get that shadow under there. Drag it down. And I reckon we're actually pretty well on done, you know. That has created the effects that I wanted to. I've just got to define carefully the edge of his bow. Or oh, I don't know if I can keep a steady hand. I'm terrified. <laughs> I don't, I'm really liking this piece. I've got to keep a steady hand. You can see me wobbling, trying to keep a steady hand. Just want to get that. I love how this turned out. Thank you. It's good fun. I highly recommend trying to do monotone because it's just, it is, it's fun. And you can just really look at shadows and lights and really sort of take it all in. I'm going to darken up a little bit here. Get a little bit more definition in this bit. It's a bit darker here that I've missed. Just to get that three dimensional look back onto his cello get that line and drag that up a little bit that go really dark at the top and I reckon I'm going to call that because I am really happy with that so I'm going to sign him down the bottom here and I am going to call that a finished piece. Except I haven't done this bit. <laughs> I haven't done his, his little turny bits. Oh, my God. Because his tuners are up there. Well, there's one tuner up there, but that's okay. We can pretend. I'll go. All right. So that is done, peeps. So thank you, everyone, for hanging out. It was awesome fun this morning. I don't know what tomorrow's prompt is. What's tomorrow's prompt? Tomorrow's prompt is carefree. Ooh. So I will see at the back legs of the chair. They're not in the picture, though. <laughs> They're not in the picture. You can't see them. They disappear off. I think they're directly behind, but I can try. I'll just do a little line, like a very faint line. Like that. Very, very faint line, just to say, okay, it's there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> a back of the chair leg. Because actually you can't see it. I think his chair's facing, it's more straight back, but that's okay. We've done that. <sighs> so now he's done. <laughs> So thank you, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow. Have an awesome day, and, yeah, I'll catch you then. <laughs> thank you for being here.